name of this amazing looking group? We are called Unity. We're all friends in college. So we decided to put this group together to perform a piece called I Will, okay. which is about being told that you can't or you're not enough. And how is a group that we come together and power through that? Lovely. I love that she's giving you the mic and he's like, why are you handing it to me? <laughs> What's your name, young man? Uh, my name's Kieran. Kieran, what would you do if you were to win the money? Would you split it between all of you? We'd have to figure that one out. Or you're just a calculator, darling, in Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> do you think you can win? I certainly hope so. OK, good luck. The stage is yours. Thank you very much. John don't get it And you can't tell grandma Cause her heart can't take it And she might not make it I'm Declan And labels don't define me I push the gender boundaries But don't allow discrimination to change who I am People stare and say things They try to label me They say I can't be who I am I will They say don't dare don't you even go there Cutting off your long hair You do as you're told Till you wake up Go put on your makeup This is just a phase You're gonna outgrow There's something wrong In the village In the village Oh They stare in the village In the village I'm Steph. I'm Libby. And, and we, we are, are in love. love. Since we came out, we constantly have eyes on us. For something as simple as holding hands walking down the street. Or as a male and female can kiss in public and no one would look twice. They don't want us to show our love. We will. There's nothing wrong with you. It's true. It's true. There's something wrong with the village. With the village. Something wrong. I'm Junior. Growing up, I was bullied for my love of dance. Dancing makes me feel free and allows me to act out my feelings in a safe place. Bullies ruin this. I was beaten up and called names, all because a boy loved to dance. I'm Kira. Society has conditioned me to believe that I will never be good enough because of my size, that I will be unsuccessful if I don't change my shape. People say I'll never make it. I will. There's something wrong in the village, in the village. Oh, they stare in the village, in the village. Oh, there's nothing wrong with you. It's true, it's true. There's something wrong with the village, with the village. Our abilities aren't hindered because of our differences. Our talents aren't any less because we are unique. Our worth isn't defined by our diversity. It is not our differences that divide us. It is our inability to recognise, accept, embrace and celebrate those differences. judge somebody on the way they wear their body 
But I pull myself to pieces I don't know why I do If I could only learn to see myself How other people do I'd say I'm not my thoughts This is my house and these are my rules You can be anything you want and anyone you want to be in life. The message is loud and clear. The execution, artistically, your choreography was superb. It really is a fantastic performance at every level. I had goosebumps, that's all I can say. Um, well, it was such a beautiful... Audience want a goal, but there aren't any goals left. Bruno press it anyway. Care. I've already done it twice. I can't anymore. For me, it was such a beautiful, passionate piece. The message was so strong. Everything that you stand for, all of your personalities, the love that you have for each other, all the different characters involved in this group, all of that made this such an amazing and special piece. It was beautiful. I thought that actually was astonishing. The way that you got your message across, it was so strong. It was an audition I'll never forget. What you've done, you've done it your way. And look, we don't have any golden buzzers left. Oh. They'd be nailed on for a golden buzzer if we had any left. But sometimes I feel you should just break the rules. Honestly, he deserved that golden buzzer. It was absolutely beautiful. I was very moved by that. That's how you use a stage, and I feel very proud of all of you. We heard your message loud and clear. Darling, what's your name and where you come from? I'm Liliana, I'm from Liverpool. I'm 13. What do you do, my darling? I'm a dancer. Oh, you're a dancer? I love dancing. I started dancing when I was four, and ever since I just fell in love with it. Is there anyone here tonight to support you? Uh, my mom and my dad as well. How are you? How are you? Okay. I'm Liliana, and I'm a dancer. I'm in year nine. My favourite subjects are PE and drama. When I do all my tricks at home in the living room, sometimes I nearly kick the telly and break it. <laughs> I watch Britain's Got Talent all the time. Being here, it just doesn't feel real. My dad is my biggest fan in my family. Don't pull your hair, because that's how you create oh, phones. You know, you'll have to hair spray and you'll have to brush through your phone. To me, she's the best dancer out there. She's incredible. Can't wait to see her up on that stage in front of that audience and them judges. Just be so massively proud of her. 
That's my little girl doing her thing. Well, I can't wait to see it, don't you? Let's go. OK, come on, let's see a bit of dancing. Thank you. Actress as well as a fantastic dancer. I saw some excellent ballet steps and the gymnastic were out of this world. <laughs> Alicia. Where does all that passion come from? Technically, I haven't seen anything like that for a long, long time. <laughs> I was, I'm quite speechless, actually. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. You were like the speed of a Hummingbird. I mean, it just looked incredible. Thank you. So, Liliana, what do you see in your head in five years' time? I see me training in Cirque du Soleil, touring across the world. Got it. Got it. Got it. If you have a chance, you can tell you have put in the work. If I could score this, it would be a ten. Yeah. Oh. Can I be the first to say yes? It's a yes from me. It's a yes from me. It is a yes from me. Thank you. She's unbelievable. Wow. She does with so much heart. Well, she had everything. The comments don't get much better than that. Simon Cowell gives you a t give you a ten out of ten, and we don't even give marks on this show. That's how good you were. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Uh, my name is Cami. Uh, I'm from Scotland. And Cami, how old are you? Uh, I'm 32. Okay. And did you bring anyone? Uh, no, I came on my own. I didn't tell anyone I was coming. I was going to say, nobody knows you're here. No, I kept it a secret. So why have you applied to come on Britain's Got Talent? Uh, I'd recently just became a dad. When you have a little girl, you kind of want to give her everything. So 
I figure if I could chase my dreams and be happy and give her every opportunity, then that would be pretty cool. So. What would you spend £250,000 on? I would buy, I'd buy me, me and my girlfriend, my baby, a, a house. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, darling, good luck. Thank you. Cheers. Good luck. Come on, Cam. Oh, I hope he's good. I like him. Got my driver's license last week Just like we always talked about And you were so excited for me To finally drive up to your house The day I drove through I love the fact he sings in a Scottish I accent. I love singing an accent. And I just can't imagine How you could be so keen Now that I'm gone I guess you did me what you wrote in that song about me. Um, I think we all really, really, really like you. I personally thought that song was a bit fast. Yeah. Um, I was maybe know, a little bit nervous. Yeah, and I kind of felt you were like pushing it a little bit too much. Can we just hear it a little bit slower? Yep, okay. Thinking Charles are like them. Yeah. I got my driver's license last week, just like we always talked about. Cause you were so excited for me to finally drive up. Today I drove through the suburbs Crying Cos you went around You're probably with that blonde boy We always made me down He's so much older than me He's everything Past your street. There goes my heart beating. Push the other reason. I'm losing my sleep. Please come. What did you think? I think it was a good choice of song. I always like it when someone puts the twist yeah. on someone else's song. You were nervous, yeah. but people are going to want to root for you. I've just got a feeling. Woo! Yes, come! It's authentic and real, and I know how much this means to you. Yeah. So for all of those reasons, it made for a really beautiful version. So yes. well done. Thank you very much. There goes my you do have the most beautiful tone, and I love that raspiness you've got there in the tank. I think you're a great guy, love your personality, and I really hope that something great comes from this. Thank you. You really sing with your heart. And the second time, when you just let it go a little bit, you didn't try too hard, it became even more real. 
I'm going to kick this off. It's a yes from me. Alicia? I'm saying yes. Bruno? And I say yes. <laughs> Simon? I have to say yes. <laughs> People like it. Such a good call, it's amazing. Oh, oh, he's dressed like me. He nicked my jeans. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Hello, hello, Amanda. Hello. I mean, you've got the memo. Hello. <laughs> hello, stranger. Hello. <laughs> well done for getting the memo. What's your name? My name is Anthony. And where are you from? I'm from Misterton, Doncaster. Have you done this act to an audience this large before? Uh, no. This is the first time in such a big uh, space, in a, on a stage as well. And what is it you're doing? So, I stack up chairs. <laughs> Seriously. We'll just leave you to do what you need to do. OK, thank you. Oh, our names are going, guys. Obviously, don't try this at all. Chairs on poles. It's quite hard to watch, isn't it? Oh. It's still on the plum and bottle store. I mean, there's no net. He's got another chair. He's gone again. Oh my god. My goodness! It was unbelievably scary to watch. This is not another story! And was that your family up there with you? Yes, my dad, my, my mother and my best friend. That's so nice! Oh, she watches oh, you! Great. 
I thought you were fantastic. You're crazy, <laughs> but I've never seen anything like it. It was amazing. Well, I'll be more than just a fable. Wow. It was so terrifying. But I think you are extraordinarily brave and courageous. And I would love to see something like this at the Royal Variety Show. And now I'm waiting like a fire, running up through everything I see. Oh, I loved it. I mean, you're obviously an artist, I could tell. Because I could see there was choreography there. When you hit your poses, great presentation. You made it look easy. And he's insane. Thank you. OK. Well, you risked your life, so here's your first yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Barnum would have signed you. Yes. Yes. Thank you. I'm, I'm saying yes. And it's a yes for me, so it's not a yes. Thank you. That was unreal. Death wow. defying. Hello. Hi, you all right? Really well. How are you? I'm all right. I'm OK, yeah. Good. Excited to be here. Good. And who are you? Uh, I'm Lewis Fuller. I'm 24 years old and I'm from Kent. OK, Lewis. Why have you come on the show? I've come here today uh, to sing a song for you in a way that I've never done it before. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. Something is making me think this is not going to be a normal song. <laughs> You're smiling. What is it? I've got, I've got to keep the suspense. I can't oh, okay, tell you. Okay, all right. Okay, I won't say anything else. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, oh. very mysterious. Uh, Alicia. Oh, that was 
different, wasn't it? <laughs> when did you come up with the idea to sing and do that? Well, I've got two passions. I'm a singer and I'm a magician. About four or five years ago, me and my best friend, we came up with this concept to combine the two. OK, but if I'm being honest, I found the whole thing a little bit corny, if that's the word to use. I did, Lewis. Listen, look, I'm a hopeless romantic. Oh, bless you, darling. I think visually it was interpreted very, very well. The disappearing piano into the snow was absolutely beautiful. I'm going to be honest. Um, I agree with Alicia. I did find it a huge cheese fest. I don't think that I would want to see more of it. I'm sorry. Lewis, you have a nice voice. If you just come on as a singer, this would have been a struggle, I'm going to be honest with you. OK, Bruno, yes or no? Oh, is that yes? Alicia. Are you going to sing each time? Do you know what? It was a good idea. I'm going to say yes. The big end game here for any artist like you has to be Vegas. So you're going to have to spend a lot of time on this. But this potentially could be amazing. This is exactly what the show should be looking for. Thank you. Thank you very much. I love this audition. Uh, I'm saying yes, so it doesn't really matter what Amanda says, so <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> oh, I can't talk, it's unbelievable. Harry Churchill. Lovely to meet you, Harry. How old are you? Uh, 11 years old. Oh! And where are you from? Uh, Devon. And who are you with today? Who, who uh, came along? My mum, dad and my two brothers. Hi! Are you feeling a bit nervous today, Harry? Very nervous. <laughs> oh, love you. Oh, we understand. We're all here to support you. The stage is yours. Good luck. Audition. King of rock and roll, here we go. <laughs> Is that yes? I'm saying yes. Yes for me. Now you've got four yeses. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yes! Yeah. It's really good. Really good. And he was playing it behind his back. I mean, that's hard. Thanks for me. Where's your mate? Hello. Hello. What's your name and where are you from? I'm Freddie. I'm 35 years old and I'm from Sweden. Lovely. Oh. So, Freddie, why Britain's got talent? This stage, it needs a proper science show. Oh. So you're going to make science interesting? I hope so. I hope so. Do you think you can win the show, Freddie? I, I would say that the British people want more science show and I'm here to Do bring them. Do we want them. more science shows? Not really. 
Go for it, Freddie. So, Amanda Holden, you have to be my science lab assistant. Well, come up. So, we first need to get you properly dressed. You can never be too careful. That's perfect. It's inside out. No, it's cheap. <laughs> this will look good on you. <laughs> None of these guys are wearing them, though. No, they're dispensable. Anything happens to you guys, doesn't matter. Yeah. So, are you ready for some science? Yes. So, we will first start over here. Do you know how clouds are formed? Well, it's to do with evaporation. <laughs> oh, Simon, it's oh. true! <laughs> OK, so we will make a cloud here at Palladium. So, you will take this bucket, like this. Yes. And we're going to put it in the liquid nitrogen. One, two, three, go! <laughs> Call up my legs, that. And now we're going to do something called elephant's toothpaste. Yeah, we all know elephant's toothpaste, don't we? Yeah. This is hydrogen peroxide, <laughs> oxygen molecule. <laughs> and here we have potassium iodide. Put it in, all in one. Liquid nitrogen expands 700 times when it goes from liquid to gas again. We're going in. So, 2,000 ping pong balls. And we're waiting. And we're waiting. Oh, what's he going on? That's a shame for him. The final one hasn't worked. <laughs> It did work, guys! It's what put them on. Thank you! Well done. Freddy, 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 Freddy. Oh, I love your confidence. I'm saying yes! I love the, the madness of it all. It's a very good idea. Oh, it's a yes. I think this has got potential to be very entertaining. I'm saying yes. Simon, what did you think? I think we can make you interesting, Freddie. In my head, I can imagine dancing scientists. <laughs> so, I'm going to say yes. Yes! <laughs> yeah! Thank you. Thank you. Hello. We, I forgot I had the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Yay! Yeah. What are your names? My name's Carolyn. And I'm Tola. And, and we are Sea Lights. <laughs> and how do you know each other? Well, we're yummy mummies from the school playground. Oh! It's so brilliant when you meet people at the school gates and then... You can't get away from them. <laughs> <laughs> Who decided you were going to come on Britain's Got Talent? Me, I did. <laughs> and what did you think about that? I thought, you know what, yeah, why not? Let's go, yeah. let's go. <laughs> <laughs> have all the other mums seen it? Have you done it at school? Where do you perform it? We actually haven't. No. What, never? We haven't. <laughs> Girls, what's the big dream? Well, it would literally mean the world to win Britain's Got Talent. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, this better be good. Thank you! Straight into the wall. 
I'm going to die. No, I'm so sorry. I forgot to take off my shoes. I can't All right. Get with my shoes okay, no on. problem. One sec. <laughs> Are you okay? No, I haven't spoiled the show. You haven't spoiled the show. <laughs> you haven't spoiled it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's taking her shoesies off. Did you see her walk straight into there? I thought, this, I thought it was part of the act. You OK? She's OK. Take two. This is hilarious before it started. <laughs> Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Firelight in the beautiful sea. And star, I see a vision of ecstasy. When you hold me, I saw the light. Alexis got called the neck curtains. voice because I'm telling you she's absolutely right you can sing thank you so much thank you it's Avatar keeps laughing when did you come up with the idea for this like you were sitting down and it was like right we're going on Britain's Got Talent I'm gonna sing and I need you to do that <laughs> you both kind of need each other in a funny way because it just made the act great you're so funny so original crazy everything brilliant you are unique, full of personality. It's a yes from me. Oh, yeah. oh you've made my night. It's a yes. yes. Oh, yes, thank you. The girls, it's a yes for me. That means that you got four yeses. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Uh, my name's Tom, I'm 31 and I'm from York. Hello. What I want to show you today uses uh, use one of these. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a Rubik's Cube. Oh my God, I nearly had a heart attack. It's so boring. OK, good luck. Um, but what I really want to show you today, I need a cool person. Um, so, think of a cool person for me. Well, obviously, Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to do for you now uh, is mix up uh, 100 Rubik's Cubes. I'm going to try and mix them up in such a way that when they all get together, uh, they all become bigger than the sum of their parts. But you'd be amazed what you can achieve in a couple of minutes. Uh, for instance, in 60 seconds, uh, everybody here in this room will have blinked collectively about 20,000 times. Which means a lot of you have missed quite a lot of the show. Uh, but... Hmm. Simon, you've developed a career out of being able to spot talent in other people. Did you know you have more number one records under your belt than I can count on all my fingers and my toes? And they're quite busy. My fingers and toes are fine. I just don't have the... Skill. The skill. The, the, the patience. No, the, the time. The, the, the looks. The... Alicia, you've released two number one hits. Uh, you've uh, written four books. Six, actually. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's three. He's already got Simon the goal. It's the one and only Albert Einstein. However, I was also trying to make a picture of Bruno. Oh. You see, you doubted it. 
How bad is Bruno feel right now? I tell you what, he's got the orange right. <laughs> <laughs> but how the hell did you do that? Practice lots of different faces. Turns out you have a really difficult face to make Rubik's cubes out of. I'll change my face. <laughs> oh! Again. <laughs> That was an entrance. Very nice to meet you. What's the name of the act? The Royal British Legion Band and Choral Drums from Romford in Essex. How long have you been together? The band was formed in 1952. Um, last year approached our 70th anniversary. Do you have fun? We have a lot of fun, yes, absolutely. No one's smiling. Why have you come on the show this year? Tell me. We performed for Her Majesty the Queen a few years ago. Yeah. And it would be fantastic to perform at the Royal Variety Show and maybe the new king. All right, no more questions. Good luck. Enjoy yourself. OK. Drummers, take it off. Late, that one. It's a little bit late. Well, we weren't expecting that. No. My goodness. I thought that was a fantastic audition. You've really brought the fun today. It's a yes from me. It's definitely a yes from me. Of course, it's a yes. Very British. You got four yeses. Congratulations. <laughs> Where did you put it? Where did you put Why the tattoo? Be... I don't have a tattoo. Oh, but is he telling the truth? You're going to find out in a minute because you're going to see it. Who do you think has got a tattoo of you on them? Tension, David. You're going to say, David, right? Would the judge who has the tattoo please reveal themselves? <laughs> oh, 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 David, it is! This is the thing. Let's see the tattoo. 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 You know what? I'm not paid enough money to deal with that. Seriously? I tell you something. I actually feel sick. But what That's is... weird. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Do you want to... 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 Do you I didn't like I it. I did it for you! Oh, my God. <laughs> I would sign and rank his fellow judges in a number of different categories. Gay and gay! Right, so first up, don't say what it is. Have a little look there. Sorry, I'm just distracted. <laughs> I know, right? That's the first one, OK? Don't say it out loud. Who's going number one, two or three? <laughs> um... Hang on, uh, what's Alicia four? three, Where's Amanda Brandon two, number David number one. Right, David's number one, but what is he number one for? Let Let's have a little look. It is for... Biggest Steva! Biggest Steva! Thank you. How are you feeling about that, David? you feeling happy about that? What a treat. Right, here's your next one. Oh, OK. Um, 
David number three, please. David number three. Okay. Who's going number one? And the two girls go to number one, please. Two girls to number one. And David's in last position on this one. And the subject topic was... Who do you like the most? <laughs> Britain's got more talent in one word, beginning with S. Shit! Oh, no! 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 Come on! See, I, I, I would have said super. I would have said right. spectacular. Take but me away now. You, you, Smutty. Thank you, Alicia. You've got a point. What? Right. Name me something Amanda is good at, beginning with the letter A. Acting! Thank you, darling. Steven, my point. Acting! Alicia's got a point. Acting! Simon, what's got you? Nothing. It's because he knows what I like to say. <laughs> what? Sorry, Chris. Did I get my point? <laughs> yes, your point's up there. You're in the lead. You're in the lead. <laughs> right, next one. Name me a word that describes David beginning with the letter W. Wank. Wallium! <laughs> I didn't say that, I didn't say that. Hi Simon, How are you? Um, you are my family's favourite judge, believe it or not. I do believe it. Um, but if you had to choose between your America's Got Talent judging panel or your Britain's Got Talent oh, judging hello, panel, hello, hello. which one is your favourite and why? Oh, well, to be fair, they are more intelligent in America. Oh, in America? In America, right. yeah. You start. don't mean that disrespectfully. No, they are more intelligent. <laughs> um, what, Heidi Klum? <laughs> <laughs> She's thick as pig shit. <laughs> now, now, he, now he can't be sacked, he'll just say anything he wants. See, as I said, he'll be out of control <laughs> now. <laughs> Taking that to a side, um, look, it's difficult. I like them both. Uh, I like these guys because they're sort of stupid. <laughs> What is the one thing about Simon that you don't know that you would like to know? Oh, good oh, question. No. You know everything, don't David. you? David. Good question. <laughs> <laughs> don't go there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do? I like you. I like your baby. Uh, you, you've got a contract for next year. Um, you can have a two-year extension. I would like... It, I mean, we are after the watershed, are we? Yes. No, we're not. No, we're not. Oh, yes. no, we're not. We're not after the watershed. I would like David. to see David. inside <laughs> his house. Oh, he's never invited. These two girls have been to his house. Right. And I haven't. Why, why has David never been to your house? He's scared. I don't really like him that much. <laughs> <laughs> and while I'm at his house, I'd like to see his. The best thing about being Simon Cowell. Oh, the best thing about being you. Well, it's cat, right? It's yeah, hi. When I was uh, at school and I was very bored. Briefly. Yeah, briefly, yeah. <laughs> I kind of thought, hopefully, when I'm older, I can do a job where I have fun and I don't have horrible bosses. And now I have a job which is honestly the most fun in the world. Uh, so and you are the horrible boss. <laughs> and I'm the horrible boss. <laughs> what are the three things that you love about yourself? Um, humility. Uh, yes, uh, charm. Humble. Good looks. Humility. Generous. Uh, I like people. I wear great clothes. I'm funny. Um, I'm great fun to have dinner with and breakfast and lunch. Um, great to go on holiday with. Um, I like guys, I like girls, I like animals. I know you do! <laughs> I know you do! <laughs> let's straight let's in there. replay that clip again. <laughs> we have evidence, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. I like girls, I like guys. Do <laughs> <Thank> you? <laughs> you finally said it. And you like animals as well? We're not going there. David. <laughs> David, we've seen a lot of good magic acts on the show so far. 
But don't you agree with me that the real magic on the show has to be Simon? That's a great what question. What is the question for you? What's his name? Um, Karen. Karen, that's a great question. Well, yeah. I mean, it's magical how a man of 85 still looks like that. I mean, <laughs> he's, had, he's had some assistance of some kind, didn't he? My goodness. <laughs> Thank um, you. Yeah, it is, it is magic. He is it's fun. I actually, the weird thing is, although I know you pretty well, I actually do get starstruck every time I see you. I go, oh my God, it's Simon Cow! Every time he walks <laughs> It's the weirdest thing. That's, you, that's weird. Do you get starstruck with him? No. There you go. <laughs> Judges, please welcome. Yes. Oh, God. Please welcome. <laughs> Your Britain's Got Talent. Oh, no! Older Light! <laughs> You know what he is, and it's, it's interesting, and it is often people who are really, really, really famous. He is incredibly generous with his time with people, more than any other star I've ever seen. Come here with an R for that, come on. What a lovely way to finish our nice job. Yes, but for some reason, th and that's nice of you, David, but I feel uncomfortable now. <laughs> You know, because what? you're not used to me paying you a compliment. No, I know, and I, it just doesn't sit just, right. Just take it for no, what I it can't. is. I just doesn't feel comfortable. <laughs> what, what, would you feel more comfortable if he gave you a hug? Yeah. Come give me a hug. Give him a hug. Give him a hug. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hug it out. Come on. give me a hug. Hug it out. That's no, no, it. Come on, give me a hug. Come, come on. on. No, no, I didn't say That's sit down. <laughs> no, no, I didn't say sit down. Give him a lovely hug. I didn't say sit down. Give him a lovely hug. That's it. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Look at that. What a beautiful picture. What a beautiful picture.